And welcome to part two of this series. Now that we've got our USB flash drive prepared in GPT format, I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to flash the BIOS on your gigabyte AOS board through the UFI shell. Join me here at my desktop. Let me minimize the OBS so I can show you what's actually going on here. So click, there is your 32 gig, gig flash drive. It's ready to roll. All you need to do here is navigate to where you downloaded your BIOS file for your gigabyte board. What in the hell is going on here? Oh my goodness. So I usually save my BIOS files to my drive here, BIOS. Now I have the uh, Gigabyte B650E AOS Elite X X Ice. The latest BIOS for that is F34D. And if you notice, you get an EFI folder with uh, this uh, script and that uh, EFI bootloader, that shell file, that's your UFI shell, and all these other files. You get a, uh, a PDF file that you can open in Adobe Acrobat. We're going to ignore that. I'll show you exactly what's going on in uh, this video. So you get all these other files. Now, if you want to use mFlash or BIOS Flashback, QFlash... Uh, um, uh, Q Flash and Q, uh, Q Flash Plus. If you want to use that, all you need is this file onto a flash drive, and you're good to go. That that is sufficient to flash the BIOS that way. But if you want to do the UFI shell, what you need to do is take every one of these files, click copy, and then paste them into that USB flash drive we already created. And once that's done, join me on Edna here as I will show you exactly what you need to do inside the BIOS to prepare your gigabyte board to be flashed using the UFI shell. Stay tuned. More to come.